obtain the 3 plus 1 benefits of a static hedging program. Welcome to CurrencyCast. My name is Austin McKinley. I'm the financial writer at Cantox and your host. In this week's episode, we're going to continue our presentation of a combination of a static hedging program and a stop loss and profit taking conditional orders and a micro hedging program for firm commitments. In particular, we're going to present the 3 plus 1 benefits of a static hedging program. In a previous episode of CurrencyCast, we showed how such a combination of hedging programs allows treasurers to systematically outperform an FX rate that could well be the budget rate that is used for pricing purposes. Now let's focus on the pain points that this program addresses. In these times of shifting global interest rates and disrupted supply chains, CFOs and treasurers worry about the degree of discount or premium in the currencies they must buy and sell. They also worry about the degree of accuracy in their forecasts. And quite naturally, they are concerned about the need to keep sufficient cash buffers in place. Is there a way we can simultaneously, uh, simultaneously handle these three pain points? The answer is yes, but for that we need to understand the 3 plus 1 benefits of a static hedging program. So let's discuss this point in a little bit more detail. When treasurers set a buffer between an FX spot reference rate towards the start of the budget period and an FX rate they wish to defend with the help of conditional stop loss orders in the event of a worst case scenario in currency markets, they are in effect delaying the execution of hedges while still keeping FX risk under control. And that brings the following three advantages. Number one, time to mitigate concerns about forecast inaccuracy. Because not all the, uh, the forecasted exposure is hedged right away, there is less risk of ending up either overhedged or underhedged. Number two, we can reduce the negative impact of forward points in the event of, of course, unfavorable forward points. If you are uh, based in a strong currency area like North America or Europe and you sell into emerging markets, you're likely going to be selling a currency that trades at a forward discount. Delaying the execution of hedges allows you to mitigate that negative impact. And number three is about collateral management. Because the execution of hedges is delayed, there is less uh, immediate need for cash in terms of collateral and margin requirements. That's always a welcome feature in these times of unsettled capital and money markets. These three benefits are inherent to a static hedging program. But why three plus one? Because there is a fourth potential advantage that doesn't really come from the inherent features of the program, but rather from the ups and downs of currency markets. I'm referring, of course, to those conditional profit-taking orders that are set at a rate that is better, more favorable than the FX rate you wish to defend in a worst-case scenario in currency markets. If these profit-taking orders are hit, you're going to outperform your budget rate, or you will be in a position to price more competitively without hurting budgeted profit margins. But again, this is not an intrinsic feature of this program. It is going to depend on the way markets trade. There is, alas, a sacrifice to be made to obtain these 3 plus 1 benefits. That buffer that we set between the FX spot reference rates towards the start of the budget period and the budget rate that you wish to defend in a worst case scenario for currency markets is indeed a pricing markup that might hurt the competitive position of your firm. As a treasurer, you need to strike a balance between how much you value these benefits and a potential loss in the competitive position of your firm. Having said that, I wish you share my enthusiasm for this combination of hedging programs that um, 
thanks to currency management automation solutions that work alongside your existing systems, allow you to reliably monitor currency markets. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, or subscribe to our channel in order to keep up to date with upcoming episodes.